Did Joe Manganiello just give us the big tease? Let's take a couple minutes to talk about what he dropped on social media and the possibility he could indeed be returning as a Deathstroke in the new DCU. Is he playing games with us or is this real? Let's dive in. Now before we do that though, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and ring that bell for all the updates. We do daily Marvel and DC videos and we want to be your place for all the superhero news, but we're going to bring it to you truthfully and transparently so you are really in the know. Well, way back in 2017, when Justice League was first released, Joe Manganiello made his debut in a post credit scene as the legendary Deathstroke. Now, sadly, this didn't really go anywhere, but he was given his chance to reprise the role during the epilogue in the Snyder Cut. Now, this was a real small appearance, but we do know there were huge plans for the character, and he was set up to be the main villain in the Ben Affleck version of the Batman. Now, we do know Manganiello was super stoked to play the character, but sadly, during an interview in 2022, he made it pretty clear he had let that go a while ago, and his potential for playing Slade Wilson seemed to well have fizzled away. And that brings us to his social media account earlier this week. Now, weirdly, Manganiello shared an image on his account of a Deathstroke Lego minifig. Let's go ahead and check that out. Obviously, this guy is a professional and knows exactly what he's doing. This is leading to massive speculation online that he could indeed be returning to the role. Now, it is possible he's simply reminding fans that he liked the character and he's still interested in the character and would like James Gunn potentially to put him in the new DCU. But as of this point, James Gunn has said nothing. Now, quite honestly, there are several characters moving from the old DCEU into the new DCU, and one of such low exposure as Joe Manganiello's version of Slade Wilson really is a great candidate for that. I would dare to say probably 90% of the general film audience has completely forgotten he was part of those movies. And his take on Deathstroke, at least visually, was near perfect, and the guy would bring the character to life in an amazing way. Like I said, Manganel is a professional, he knows what he's doing, and although this could have just been pining for the role, since he's made it pretty clear in the past he was kind of over it, it does suggest to me there is something going on behind the scenes. Now, what that could be, that's a huge question, and like I keep saying, we gotta look at that DCU slate to try to figure out where he fits in. Quite honestly guys, there's only one or two places, and the one that completely stands out is the Brave and the Bold. Now, he could potentially be part of Waller, and he does have an affiliation with Amanda Waller in the comics, but I do think if James Gunn is going to bring him back, he's going to use that character in a way that absolutely works, he's a fan favorite, and for that it needs to be front and center in a feature film. Seeing Slade Wilson face off with Batman in The Brave and the Bold would drive fans insane and would make for a great story and something that is yet to be seen up on the big screen. It was one of the better ideas from the old DCEU and if that's what's going on, it does show an open-mindedness by the current administration to try to take things that work, move them forward, and build their own new story around all those pieces. I'm really hopeful that Joe does take up this role. I love the Destro character. He's one of DC's greatest characters ever and he needs an actor that can bring the nuance to the character all while being absolutely physically intimidating and Manganella can do that any day of the week. If he actually puts on the mask, we're gonna have to wait and see. 